All right. Well, we're ready to. Oh. oh. <laughs> you clapped. You clapped. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hi guys, Mimi G here and welcome back to my channel. We have Mama G again. <laughs> I thought I'd take full advantage of mom being here and I asked her if she would help me make pozole. So pozole is a soup? It's a very traditional Mexican soup. Now all regions in Mexico have different types of pozole. So I will be making the one that we make in Aguas Calientes or where I learned it you know, how to make it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mom makes amazing Mexican food. You spent a lot of time in Mexico. Sometimes I'll be like, lady, you ain't Puerto Rican no more. You ain't Mexican. <laughs> That's right. You make Hasta puedo hablar con el acento. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you made it, I don't know, maybe like last year at the old house and I had never had it. Right. Yeah. And it was delicious. So I thought, listen, it's not super complicated. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty easy. Not mm -hmm. a whole lot to figure out. Yeah. So what do we need? Okay, so these are the basic ingredients. Um, I season everything with cubitos, or in this you know, this case, it's... Uh, bouillon. bouillon. Chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have some California chile. We have a couple of, uh, just a half of an onion and two cloves of garlic. Four Roma tomatoes. Very important to use Roma tomatoes oh. because of the density of them. Oh, okay. 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 And then, of course, it's your hominy mm -hmm. and uh, your oxtail, which a lot of people do not make them with oxtail. What they use is uh, pork neck bones oh. and chicken, or okay. they just make it chicken. But I like the oxtail. So good. It is very good oh my with gosh. the combination of the chicken breast. Very good. So we're using oxtail and this shredded is uh, chicken? shredded chicken. Yes. Now these two things I have cooked. The oxtails I cook for about two hours, so they're nice and tender. And all I use is water, and I drop in maybe a clove of garlic, and okay. uh, you know just a little piece of uh, onion, just to season it, and just cook it like that okay. for at least an hour. And then I'll add my chicken because you don't want to overcook your chicken; it'll dry it out really bad. Because oh, it's chicken breast. Right. So you cook it after, you know, and then take it out and continue cooking your oxtails for a little bit. All longer. in one pot. All in one Love pot. Love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And then okay. there's a garnish part to the soup. There once, is. Once it's all done. So once what do we have? It, once it's all done, um, some people like just to put a little onion, a little cilantro, chopped up uh, cilantro, a couple of radishes, just to give it that little crunch mm -hmm. because it's also moist. And then the uh, cabbage. Some people use lettuce. I don't like using lettuce because it gets all wilted. Yeah. I don't like it. So uh, cabbage, I think it's better. Okay. And then, of course, in any soup <laughs> in Mexico, you have to use lime. Right. You squeeze it. You squeeze it on top. And then you dump it in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people like lemon. I don't particularly like lemon because it's not as um, the strong... Taste. Yeah. It's very faint. But, um, yeah. Well, so traditionally, use, don't they use limes? Traditionally, they always use Lemons limes. Lemons is Americanized. It is Americanized. All right. Yeah. You get okay. the limes all the time. All right. So, yeah. so there's a process to this. Obviously, mm -hmm. you cook the oxtails and the chicken, and then mm -hmm. you have that ready. Yes. And then you're going to cook down? I'm going to cook down these tomatoes with the onion and the two cloves of garlic. Um, and I'm just going to simmer them until the the uh, skin of the tomato starts curling, okay. you know, yep. and then we're going to blend it. We're going to use a blender, put it all in there, mm. blend it all, and then pour it all together. Everything okay. will come together, except for the gar garnishments, of course. Ooh, let's get started. All right. <laughs> let's do it. So what's in this pan, Mom? Okay, so in this pot, we've got uh, two cups of water. Okay. And we have the, uh, we drained, or I drained, yeah. these, uh, the hominy. And I reserved a cup of that also. So that's what I'm okay. using in here. All right. And then we're just going to cook these down until they're nice and cooked. Your Roma tomatoes. And just, you know, a small piece of onion. It depends on how big your pot of broth is and stuff. We're only making, you know, yeah. enough for us. So we're going to let that simmer, boil, cover it up. Okay. And then we're... Uh, after that's ready, we're going to blend it 
and then we're going to put it all together. How long should this take? This should take about five minutes. Okay. About five minutes. Probably. Awesome. Okay. We'll be back. All right. <laughs> okay. So we have simmered this and the tomatoes are nice and softer, huh? softer and you can see that it's peeled back. So now we're going to dump them in here. There we go. If I move this closer, it'll be easier, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Wake up. There we go. And of course, we're going to put the onion mm -hmm. in there. And the garlic. The garlic. And of course, we're going to use the broth. Oh, nice. You need help, Shorty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Well, maybe you see that. Okay. And then we're going to lock that in and puree. Puree. Ooh. <laughs> I love this. Ninja. Yeah, ninja. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> pulverize it. <laughs> I'm saying. Good. Okay, great. so we want to set this aside, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna bring over the other pot, the pot and the broth, and we're gonna put it all together. Awesome. Let's all right. do it. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna put it all together. Everything's gonna go in the pot. So we're gonna put in what we just pureed: the tomatoes and onion. little bit out <laughs> you know and we go ahead and dump the uh, hominy whoa no hominy left behind <laughs> <laughs> and your okay. oxtail and your uh, chicken oh those are gonna splatter here where <laughs> here we go Tongs. all right mm. okay Oh, these look so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. All right. Chicken too? Your chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to put our um, chile California. Chile molido. California. Mm. The whole thing? Yes, the Ooh. whole thing. And we may just use a little more. Girl, just dump that in there. Right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to season it with some um, chicken bouillon. And you know, like I said, we eyeball, so I'm just going to go like that. Just like we're gonna, yeah. a couple tablespoons. A couple tablespoons, yeah. And some people don't like it as, you know, salty. They like it kind of, you know. Although we Mexicans like things salty. <laughs> Para la raza. Para la raza. Okay, that looks good. All right, so we're going to taste it. And I will see if it needs more bouillon and more. Definitely needs the other envelope of Chile California. All right, let's do it. Okay, and just maybe a little bit more of the chicken bouillon. All right. Okay. And you know what? Give me the oregano. I think I'm going to put a little bit more, a little bit of oregano to cook it. Oh, okay. Although we're going to use it also, and I didn't mention it before, but oregano and the Mexican oregano, which is a little coarser, mm -hmm. and we use it also as a garnish. But I kind of like it cooked, into. cooked into it too. Yeah. Okay. So. Like magic. That's right. ¿Cuánto quieres? Ah, sprinkle ahí hasta que yo diga ya. Ok. Ah, ya. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, this is, cooking is really all about sort of taste and flavor. It I'm, is. I'm doing the cul culinary workshops on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that they're always saying is like, we don't follow recipes. It's not about recipes. It's just sort of taste and you know, cook and feel the food that you're making. So I think we do that. You know, I think it might need a little salt. 
See what you think. Ooh, that little chili gives you a kick right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's delicious. You want salt? I got right. salt. Okay. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. A little All more? right. Okay. I think that's good. If we want more, we can do more. All right. So now we're going to cover it. Okay. And we are going to let this simmer for at least 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. So it's nice and all the juices and everything gets all, you know, flavors meld. Mmm. I love it. Okay. All right. All right then. All right, guys. So <gasps> that's ready, huh? It cooked for what? 20 minutes? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Just let it rolling boil, mm. you know, and then... Then turn it down and let it simmer. Okay. That's a little hot. Okay. So, Ooh. look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Mm-hmm. On a nice winter night. Ooh. When the temperature is 65 degrees here in <laughs> Southern California, which is considered <laughs> cold. <laughs> a good there pot of pozole. A good pot of pozole. Give so me a good piece of oxtail. You know that's fire. right, you know. Uh -huh, I'm going to get you the biggest one. <laughs> Let me see. Where is it? Right here. Uh, All right, so there's your oxtail. Okay. All right. And we're going to scoop up some of the chicken and the hominy. Hominy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. A little bit more of the broth, which is absolutely delicious. Oh, my gosh. So good. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what do we do? We garnish. We garnish with whatever you would like. All suggested. Things. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad that you do all things. Um, suggested, absolutely the cilantro. You need the For cilantro. Sure. Yeah. So a little bit of cilantro, the, you know, raw onion gives mm. it just a little, you know. Yeah, mm. just a little kick. And I know you called me a uh, onion snob once. Yeah. I use sweet onions. Thank you very much. Oh, walla, walla. Thank walla, you walla. Washington. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you like radishes, you can put some rad. I like radishes. Some people don't. You know, you put them in there. It gives you that little crunch, yeah. which I like. Is it true, Mom, that they use radishes to cool off the heat sometimes from the spicy mm -hmm. Mexican food? Yes, they do. Ah. That's why you see them served when they do the chips in the sun. Some restaurants, they will have radishes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. And they also pickle them and stuff. And oh. It's just, yeah. Well, I'm going to add cabbage. cabbage for mm -hmm. some more crunch. Yeah. Nothing left behind. That's <laughs> right. No que no maten gorda. And uh, a little lime. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yes. And then you just boop and you're Whatever done. You like. That's right. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Yeah. So and then after good. you taste it, if you like a little bit more of oregano, you can use a little bit more oregano. Alright, well I'm gonna like. taste it. Alright then. She's tasting. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> mm. Like when you were little. <laughs> okay, mamita. <laughs> Yeah, girl, she always will be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, that it's is good? really good. Okay, is it spicy enough or did it need a little bit more zest? No, I wouldn't add any more, but okay. the hubby might add a little mm -hmm. spice, a little yeah, more heat. a little bit more heat to it. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's such a, like, a deep flavor. It is. You know? Yeah. It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and Mama yeah. G for another <laughs> Cooking with Mama G video. Well, that's right. Hopefully we can do a lot more of these because that was fun. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Make sure it. and follow me on Instagram at Mimi G Style. Until next time, peace. Boss. <laughs> <laughs>